Hello, welcome back. Well, this video shows the installation for a recently developed fork or branch of Quake Spasm known as Iron Whale. Once installed, I will show it working before adding the map pack Epochs of Enmity. I hope I've said that right. A series of maps designed to serve as an unofficial sixth episode to Quake. Iron Whale is fast and yields considerable performance boosts and some extra features in the options. Now let's move on to the installation and if you're interested in trying either of these out then check out the links in the uh, video description. So the first step is to make sure you've got Quake installed. I'm using a Steam version for this video. And then the next course of action is to download Iron Whale itself and if you wish to follow along with me the map pack Epochs of Enmity. Now I'm sure there is more than one way to get this working, but I have used the following steps for this video. So as I wish to keep my Steam copy unmodified, I will create a new folder on my desktop. Name it what you want to. I've called it Iron Whale 0.4.0. .0. Then copy and paste the Steam Quake files into the new folder and then select all files inside the Iron Whale download and copy and paste these into the same folder. Now before adding the epochs of enmity, let's load up the port Take a quick look at the options and start a new game to ensure that it's working as intended. Now to add the map pack. Open your download folder and double click the EOE folder. And copy and paste the game file into the main folder we created at the beginning. Then start up Iron Whale and initiate the map pack by opening the console, using the tiled key, and type game, then leave a space, and then EOE. Hit enter and a title page should appear. Now you're ready to begin. Okay, so here I am in the first level. Well, technically not a level, it's the introduction level. Twelve maps in all, I believe, with ten actual proper levels inside. So this is Toward the Within, which is the start. So I will play the first level, I think, uh, from... I've only played... I've played through almost all of it now, once. There's a level or two left. Um, I played on normal. I'm not sure. I haven't tried very hard, but I'm not sure how to get to Nightmare. So that's easy. That's... 
hard, I think. That's normal, which is what I played on. Which was possibly... Mm, I wouldn't say it was easy. It was challenging for me anyway. I'm assuming... It's just a case of dropping down to find Nightmare, but I don't actually know. So I'm probably going to die multiple times, but let's just try. Mm. Ah, maybe I was right. Huh. Ah, I don't usually get it right first time. So, Nightmare... I assume you just walk off there. Oh, I see, yeah. So this way for Nightmare. This will be a new experience. Ah, that's how you do it. Yeah, skill three. That is Nightmare. Bit confusing, though, because it was... To me, it suggested it was the other way. But anyway, I'm here now. So we have 51 enemies and nine secrets, which I only got three last time. So I'm not going to try very hard to get all of them, but I will try and improve on three. And Call to Muster is the first, first proper map name. Silver key card. Uh, let's grab some health while I think of it. I've only played this once, so it's still very quite quite new to me, really. Ah, some armor up there. I didn't see that last time. Okay, so that's green armor, so I should be able to improve on at least, at least by one this time. So that's just a lift. Yeah, it's Quake 2 that you can first um, use Crouch, I think. low on shells. Mm. I think back here is a secret. Mm. Yeah.
All right, nail gun. And some health. There's something spawning in. Yeah, I didn't get that last time either. I think that one there nearly caught me out the first time. I went through the level. Tried shooting the odd wall here and there in, on my first go, but didn't. I don't think I uncovered anything. So that's the starting room. Alright, so that's just a shortcut. Okay. I see there's some grenades up there. Four out of nine, at least I've improved on last time. And one of the effects in the options, and I'm not sure really quite what it does, but it... I think I prefer it with it on raw or off. It's some kind of a filter, I think. It probably won't show much on YouTube, but it's... You do get, if you look closely, you get this sort of checkered square look, which I don't like. So it actually looks better. Well, it's still there, but it's kind of, it looks a bit more, it seems to go better with it. So I'll, I'll stick it on raw. It's got of a sort of, it reminds me a bit of um, software image look that you see on some of the very early old, very old Doom Ultimate Doom videos on YouTube, where the um, the colours looked a bit, you know, washed out. Ah, oh, that's it. We go down here, don't we? I've just suddenly remembered. I've got no oh, ammunition. I've got nails though. I think you can get up here, but you can, if you're not careful, get stuck on there. So you're going to have to <laughs> time it right, which I'm not doing. There's not much up there, it's just what the guys dropped, but I like to get everything I can. There might be a secret up there, but I couldn't find one.
Oh, I think that's all of them. So that doesn't work. That's nothing. Mm. Grab the health. How many secrets is it? Five or so far. Ah. Just suddenly seen where the uh, extra secret could be. Yeah, so that's all the enemies done, just several secrets remaining, and I'm pretty sure one of the ones was back down there. Yeah, because there was some stuff up on the ledges, wasn't there? But I'm not going to spend time uh, searching, I could spend an hour looking for all the secrets and the video is probably going to be long enough. So let's uh, get out of here. I just need to find the exit, which uh, I can't remember where it is. So it's not the beginning, is it? No, it wouldn't be that because that's what I arrived on. Maybe I'll get a chance to uh, check out one of those secrets after all. Right, that's one of them. Uh, can you make the jump from there, or is it a case of jumping from there to there? Mm, not sure about that. Yeah, but this one's not a secret. Still. Better than last time. Right, where's the... there it is. Right in front of my nose. Just checking there wasn't a secret behind it, but that marks the end of the level. So there we go. So, if you fancy trying the sort of branch or fork of Quake Spasm, known as Iron Whale, and want to try out a map pack, then uh, links will be in this in the uh, video description as per usual. So thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will speak to you once again next time. Bye for now.